when you get your Microsoft 365 business account. You're probably wondering where you should start. You may have questions like how to access the apps, how to access the OneDrive or the cloud storage, where do I change my password, where do I change the language or time zone, how to download and install the Office apps, and many other questions. Well, here I will give you the quick overview on how to access and start using your Microsoft 365 business account. By the way, some of the steps that I will explain here also apply to the personal or family Microsoft 365 accounts, to Microsoft 365 for school, and also to the free Microsoft account, which includes the Office apps online at no additional cost. If you need a detailed explanation on how to set up Microsoft 365 with your own domain name, here there is a video where I will show you how to do it step by step. Now, just to start from the beginning, what is Microsoft 365 Business? The Microsoft 365 Business License, also known as Work or School Account, will give you the latest version of Office apps, online and desktop, email with your domain name and calendar based on Exchange, chats, video calls and meetings with Microsoft Teams, one terabyte of storage with OneDrive. You will also get access to many other apps depending on your subscription or the license that has been assigned to your account. I will now access my Microsoft 365 business account. I open the browser and I enter portal.office.com. I will need to enter my email address and then click on Next. If I have a personal Microsoft account where I use the same email address that I use for my business account, I will be prompted to select work or school account or personal account, as we can see here in this prompt. In my case, I don't have any personal account with this email address, so I need to enter my password and click on sign in. You may be given this option. To reduce the number of times that you are asked to sign in, you can click yes. At this time, I'm going to select no. So this is my Microsoft 365 portal page. In general, in the central main area, you will see the documents that you have been working with. You will find recommended, which are documents that you have been actively working with. Then below, you will find a list of your documents that you can filter in different ways. You can filter by recently opened, share with you, or document that you have shared with someone else and favorite. All the documents that I see here are documents that are saved within my OneDrive. The OneDrive is the cloud storage that I have with my Microsoft 365 business account. So these are not documents that I have locally stored in my computer. If I want to bring documents from my local computer to my OneDrive, I will find this button here that says Upload. By clicking here, I will be able to browse and select documents that I want to upload to my OneDrive. At the very top, I will see the search bar, which allow me to search for any documents, contacts, files, images, or any other piece of information that is within my account. If I enter, for example, just a name and click on the magnifier, I will see all the files that match this term or word. I will be able to filter by files, sites, people, news, messages, and images as well. To go back to my main portal page, I click on Home. I will be able to see the files by icons or on a list. On the left side of my portal page, below the home icon, I will find this option here, create. It allows me to create any document on Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Form, or any other application that is available or assigned to my account or license. Let's click, for example, on Word document. 
it will automatically open Word Online with a blank document. And I can start working on a new document. This document is automatically saved in OneDrive. I will be able to change the name of the document. If I go to my home page again and I click on Home, then I will see the recently opened document right here. Below Create, I will find my content, which is a different way to see all the documents that I have within my OneDrive. Looking again to the left, I will see all the Microsoft 365 apps that I have access to, like Outlook, Microsoft Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. If there is any app that I don't see here, I will be able to click on the upper left corner on the nine little dots, also known as the waffle icon. And I can search for all the apps that I have access to. Here's a quick list, but also I will be able to click on all apps. And then I can scroll down and look for all the apps that I have access to. Let's go back and click on Office. If your account has been assigned with the admin role, you will also find this icon here, Admin, which will give you access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The Admin Center is where you can manage all the users and applications for all your Microsoft 365 accounts and users. On the upper right corner, you will find this icon here, Install Office. This icon will allow you to download the apps and install them on your desktop. It will download the installation file. As long as the downloading is complete, you can click on it and it will install the Office apps just by clicking on the downloaded file. From your Microsoft 365 portal, you can also access your business email account by clicking in Outlook. This is what is called Outlook Online. It is the webmail access to your email account. We're going back to our portal. On the top right corner of the portal, you will find this icon here, which is my day. It will give me access to my calendar, the same calendar that I have within Outlook. Outlook Online and also Outlook on the desktop. You will also find this little gear here, which will give you access to your settings. Here you can modify different settings for your account. Like for example, the look and feel. I can select a different theme. Down below, I will be able to change the language of my account. I can also switch to dark mode which could be in some cases more comfortable to your site. Going down, I will find change your password. Here is where you can change the password in case you need it. And just below, you can update your contact preferences. Now I will close the settings by clicking here on the X. And for completing this quick review, I also want to show you something else which is how you can access your OneDrive. If you can click here on the nine little dots, you will find the icon OneDrive. It will show you all the folders and files that you have within your OneDrive storage. Here you will be able to upload files that you have locally stored in your computer as well by clicking here. You will be able to select the files or folders that you want to upload. The Microsoft account that we have accessed here, as an example, is a Microsoft 365 business. However, as we said at the beginning, many of the settings and the way how you move within your account is also similar to Microsoft 365 for school, Microsoft 365 family plan, and also for your Microsoft 365 personal account. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, 
or want to find a little easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.